In this video we will show the basic steps to perform an underfloor heating calculation in DDS CAD. We will start by changing the default floor type to specific underfloor heating floor. To do so, open the story function in the toolbar. Double click on the building entry to access the properties of the complete story. Open the floor's properties by double clicking on it. Next, open the product database for floors. On the left side, select the underfloor heating category and select the appropriate floor type. Press OK again. Press Yes to assign a new floor type to the complete story. Click OK twice to close all dialogues. The next step is defining the heating facilities of the building and to do a heat load calculation. Start by opening the building dialog from the toolbar. Next, select the tab Heating Facilities. In this case, we will set the building's heating source completely to underfloor heating. This means setting the radiator's target output to zero and assign 100% to underfloor heating. By pressing the button Set Building and Yes, the new settings will be applied to your complete building model. To complete, press Apply. Now let's move on to the Heat Load tab. Since we have changed the floor type and the heating facilities, we need to perform a heat load calculation. It is important that the heat load calculation is recalculated when a change is made to the building model or system settings. After the calculation is completed, press Apply to assign the calculation results to the model. Refreshing the model will update the part text inside each of the rooms, automatically reflecting the calculated heat load. We are now ready to define the underfloor heating circuits and do a calculation. To do so, open the building dialog. Select the tab Underfloor Heating. Open the product database to select a suitable system. Select one of the underfloor heating system types and press OK. By clicking Yes, the selected system will be assigned to all four rooms. The next step is selecting a manifold. To do so, press New. Important is that we select the manifold from the underfloor heating filter. In this case, we select the manifold from the flush mounted subfilter. Press OK again to position the manifold in the toilet shaft. After we have positioned the manifold in the model, press Escape to open the underfloor heating dialog again. Next, press the draw button to define the underfloor heating circuits. The easiest way is to define an area across the complete model. Simply start in the lower right corner by clicking left mouse. Then make a diagonal line to the top left corner and press Enter. Press Escape to go back to the underfloor heating dialog again. Under Options, we can set specific details for the calculation parameters. Before we start the calculation, we will first show you how to modify the current heating surfaces. Start by pressing the Cut button. Move the cursor to the midpoint of the wall and make a diagonal line to the top left corner in the room. By pressing Enter, we will cut out a part of the heating surface. Let's activate the Orpha mode and cut out the bathtub surface as well. Contour the bathtub and press Enter to cut out the surface. Now press Escape to go back to the dialog. Heating surfaces can be split in separate areas either by calculation or manually. To do it manually, click on the Split in 2 button and press left click inside the living room area. In the underfloor dialog table, a list of all circuits is available. As we can see, we have now selected the heating surface that is located at the bottom of the living room. Double click it to open its properties. Since this is a surface near the outside walls, we want to treat it as a high temperature zone. To perform the underfloor heating calculation, press Calculate. In the lower right corner of the screen, we see that DDS CAT has identified two new issues. We will take a closer look at them later. Let's first check the heating circuit in the guest room. As we can see, the calculated actual output of the heating surface is 660 watts. 
click OK to close the dialog. The calculation results can also be presented in reports. To do so, press the Reports button. Select the calculation underfloor heating template by double clicking on it. In the lower left corner, we have various report templates available. Click on the arrow to the right to go to the next page. Let's now look into the issues that were identified by DDS CAT after performing the calculation. To do so, click on See More. The first issue is regarding the guest room for which the actual output is currently lower than the calculated target. The second issue indicates the same, but this time for the toilet room. In these cases, we can decide to, for example, add additional radiators to reach the calculated target output. To conclude, we will generate a parts list of all underfloor heating materials. To do so, select the parts list function on the toolbar. A preview of all materials is shown in the table. Press the button Reports to produce a parts list using one of the available report templates. At the top left, select the option Parts List. Uncheck the cover page and select the Parts List per room template. Here we now have a complete list of all underfloor heating materials per room.